All right, well, welcome everybody to our session. Uh, we have a quick three minute, uh, three and a half minute video for you, and then we'll turn it over to our mining ambassadors uh, for some uh, question and answers. All right, so here we go. <laughs> We really cover a very broad range of, of the field, right? So all the way from um, the geology, you know, the geophysics part and exploration, all the way through um, mine design, mine operations, health and safety, excavation, blasting, all those kinds of things, all the way through mineral processing. So everyone thinks of mining as being how do we how do we get things out of the ground. Processing is then how do we turn those into useful resources. Right now we're getting to, into uh, geoenergy, petroleum, natural gas, geothermal engineering, everything down a borehole. Where we need to go next is autonomous systems, data analytics, those types of things. You know, mining engineers, we're really used to thinking that we get the rock out of the ground, but the mineral processing and the metallurgy folks have to get the good stuff out of the rock, right? Right? And then we've got a lot of waste that has to be dealt with um, on the environmental side. And so what I think is really interesting and, and really cool about working with this group of people is that we kind of cover all of that um, amongst the group. And one thing that's very interesting about the group here at Virginia Tech is we have a unique capability to work across the full uh, cycle of technology development. So we'll start with an idea at a very fundamental stage and look at basic interactions, maybe how one particle is interacting with another particle. And we have very sophisticated instruments that we can measure that. Then we take the concepts there and try to design a small scale unit, processing unit in the lab. And maybe we can take and process a gram, you know, a gram a day or something, very, very small scale. And most places stop there, but we don't do that here. We take those ideas that we've proven in the lab and we try to take them to the next scale, either pilot scale, small industrial scale, or full industrial scale. And uh, over the time, I think the department here has had a great run of success in producing commercial technologies that started all the way back at that one bubble, one particle kind of interaction. The materials that it takes to make those fancy magnets that turn wind turbines, right that they come from mining um, photovoltaics that go into solar power they come from mining right so we may change the resources that we mine we may change the rate at which we have to mine we may change um, the the size of the mines or where they're located um, but we'll always have have to actually mine natural resources and mining is done everywhere and you can literally get a job anywhere from big cities to small towns in any country in the world how how will we design this mine um, to be environmentally friendly how will we design this mine um, to benefit the communities in which we work right to take advantage of local skills um, to have tax revenues that can be coming back to communities and a lot of these critical materials are currently being produced in a way that we would say is not environmentally benign. And so that's a big challenge for us is, is doing that and doing that in a cost competitive sense. So that's where the creativity comes in and that's where the problem solving comes in. And that's where I say, you know, we want to solve these big challenges and they are, because I think if we want to go forward as a society, we need to have good ways to recover these resources and doing so in a way that's sustainable, both economically, socially, and environmentally. Um, and I think that students that are interested in those things um, would find a good home in, in looking at, at mining and minerals engineering. Um, that really is the way that, that we as engineers want to work and those are the, the types of cutting edge things that, that we're working to do. This is kind of our uh, quick video, um, but we do have a uh, a couple of students here uh, from the Mining and Minerals Engineering Department, and uh, I'll give you, give myself a second to introduce who I am. Um, so my name is Michelle Crotto, and I serve as the Departmental Academic and Career Advisor. Um, so I help you uh, get to graduation uh, once you join the department, and then I help you make sure that you have a full-time job offer when you cross that stage. Uh, and so far, you know, I've been doing a pretty good job the, the last last few years. I want to say, um, you know, it's it's been an interesting time, but I'm really happy to say that all of our graduates the past two years, um, every single one of them have um, uh, had that full-time offer, uh, either mostly, mostly before graduation. Some people looked into the summer, but, uh, they all 
and it, you know, had their full-time job offer. So I'll turn it over. Yeah. So I'm Brennan George. I'm currently a junior right now. Uh, I basically found mining engineering because I was a uh, general engineering student at tech for freshman year. And then just was looking around at the different programs and mining really stuck out to me. So I joined it because it was just very interesting. Everybody in it was great. Talking to the professors was great. So that's, that's why I joined. Uh, hi, I'm Allie McFarland. Um, I'm a senior in our major. Um, I found mining through um, the professional sorority. I'm currently a part of. Oh, Mark's joining. Um, I originally wanted to do chemical engineering, but it just I thought the jobs were pretty boring, honestly, and I was, I did, had no idea what mining was, and then one of the sisters in the sorority explained it to me, said you'd probably get to be outside, and rocks are super, super cool, so it just, I don't know, it's exactly what I was looking for. Hey guys, I'm Mark, I'm from uh, Stanton, Virginia, uh, I'm a junior, uh, I came across mining Kind of like just randomly, uh, one of my freshman classes required me to go to info sessions for different uh, engineering majors. And uh, sure enough, mining was one of them. So I went there, uh, thought it was super cool, eventually decided to pick it and the rest is history. Hey, I'm Ashley. Um, I'm a junior in mining engineering. I'm from Wilmington, North Carolina, which is like a little coastal city in North Carolina. Um, I found mining my freshman year very similar to like Ali. I didn't know anything about it. I came in like a lot of undergrads and was like, yeah, I think I'm going to do mechanical um, and group into that large group of people. And I kind of realized the more I was evaluating it that the opportunities within our department here are like crazy. Like we have a great amount of like faculty here if you're interested in like undergraduate research. I was able to like become involved in that this past summer as well as during the school year. Um, so that's kind of like how I found and kind of like got interested in it is I looked at like some of the teachers we have and then also like our student to faculty ratio, our scholarship opportunities, things like that, like really attracted me. And the more I got into it, I realized it's been a really good fit for me as well. Well, some other fun things about mining are when we're not in a pandemic, we get to go on field trips and see blasts sometimes, which I think super interesting. I got to see or I got to be underground when a blast went off underground and you could like feel the wave hit you and it was really loud. It was just super neat to be a part of. Um, seeing mines are super amazing, too, because they're just ginormous. My freshman year, we were able to go to um, Kimbleton, and then we also did an overnight trip to uh, the Luxstone Quarry, which was really awesome. Like, it was, like, a very, like, bonding experience for our class, because, like, we all went down there, and it was, like, a two-day thing um, at, like, Luxstone headquarters in Virginia, and we stayed in the hotel, and, like, it was fun. It was, it was really enjoyable for us to be able to spend those, like, two days together. What else do we like about mining? Well... One of the great things is about the department in general in the classroom sense is just like the very few amount of people there are compared to the teacher. Like in your in your class, you're going to have around like 30 kids. And so you're going to get close to everybody. Everybody knows everybody. So it's really fun just walking around, seeing everybody. You'll know them after the years you'll spend with them. But also the professors, they're all great, very open you can talk to them about anything, really. They will help you with anything, give advice about anything. Very great to go to for professional help and talking about the real world. So it's just everybody is really nice in mind. And another thing with the professors is a lot of them do research. And he, if you have any interest in their research, there's a very high chance that you can actually get on their team and help with them and if you start off early in your time at in college like you can get super super involved with their project and I don't know I think it's pretty cool (laughs) um some other things about mining are we have a lot of student organizations um that you can be a part of we have two competition or two like three-ish competition teams um one's called the mucking team which 
I like to describe it as like the lumberjack games, but for mining, um, super fun, super intense. And there's also the mine rescue team, which is more um, problem solving. And it's like simulates a real life um, mine disaster and you have to go in and find and rescue people. Um, they're super fun teams to be a part of. We have a lot great camaraderie um, <laughs> in the mining department. Um, what else? Um, Michelle, what's your favorite thing about our department? My favorite thing definitely is, um, so Blake, I am the academic and career advisor for our department. Um, and because we are uh, one of the smaller departments in the college, um, I tend to have very close relationships with all of the students within our department, or at least the ones who want to have a relationship with me um, do. And so by far, that is certainly uh, my favorite part about working in this department. Um, you know, a lot of times uh, students will just pop into, into my office to say, hey, and talk about things completely unrelated, you know, their or their curriculum kind of thing. Um, and I also talk to a lot of prospective students about their interests and what they're looking to gain while they're at Virginia Tech. So, um, and I also get to stay in, in touch with um, a lot of alumni um, and connect students to employers all across the country and across the world. Uh, so those are my, my highlights. Another cool thing about mining is that employers really want us to work for them. So many students, most if you want an internship and you apply yourself, you will most likely get one. And then you'll have real life um, experience before you graduate. I myself, I've had two internships um, and they've helped me kind of figure out what I want to do full time after I graduate after this year. Um, and I know some majors, it's super hard to get internships, even if you try super hard, just because there are so many students, um, like in mechanical engineering. Um, but that's a super um, unique thing to mining, um, is that there are a lot of opportunities um, within our major, and a lot of companies <laughs> like us a lot. <laughs> Right. And that, that extends also to inside the department, because Ali mentioned earlier, there's a ton of research opportunities with professors. And like this summer, this last summer, uh, a bunch of us, we didn't, we had internships and then we lost them due to the pandemic and everything. And the department was quick to open up a research uh, fellowship. So a bunch of us were able to do some research this summer. So it wasn't like we were doing nothing. We were actually gaining some experience within the department and learning more about mining in general as we went. Mark, what's your favorite thing about mining? I would say definitely the small class sizes and the fact that we know our advisors and uh, professors on a name, like a first name basis and that they actually care about the students. Like we're not just a number we're it's personal. Mm -hmm. Okay. It looks like we have a question. How much of this job is in the office and how much of it is on site? So that's a very good question. It is whatever you want it to be. Um, I've had an internship where I was on site every day. Um, I was very hands on. I was solving problems um, in the field. But then I've also had an internship where I'm in the office and I'm designing um Hall roads like on the computer. It really depends on where you want to go with it. Um, do you have it? Sorry, do you have anything to add, Mark? <laughs> no, it's I'd say the same. Like uh, I haven't had an internship yet, but from everything I've gathered from other students, yeah, it's as much as you want it to be in the office or in the field. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So I have actually two friends who have just accepted full time offers. And one of them, he's in production. So he'll be there driving the big haul truck some days if he needs to. And then I have another friend who his is more of a sales type role. Um, and he'll be in the office. He'll be visiting sites sometimes trying to sell equipment um, to different companies um, for different needs. Um, so 
it's really what you want it to be. Um, I'm looking for something that's kind of half and half so that I can be in office sometimes and in the field sometimes. Um, so that would be like a project engineering type position. But yeah, that was a good question. Mark, have you ever been on any of the field trips? Actually, uh, yeah, I went to the NSSGA, which is the National Sandstone and Gravel Association Conference uh, in Las Vegas this past spring break. Uh, so that was super cool to see all the, the equipment and stuff and like talk to all the different companies from all over the world. But uh, And then, yeah, we've been to uh, Luxstone in Richmond. We got to watch a blast there, get a, core of the, or a tour of the quarry, uh, and then Kimbleton Underground Mine. Uh, didn't get to see the blast there, but still going under the ground was awesome. Okay, we got another question. Uh, I'll read it, and I think Michelle will probably be the best one to answer this. So, is petroleum engineering considered under this major? If so, how is ocean mining different than land mining? Uh, a double question. So uh, I guess I'll uh, start uh, with your first question. Uh, thanks for, for this. Um, so we are working on, um, we have several faculty who, facu uh, who focus on petroleum engineering as kind of their specialties. We are working to roll out a petroleum miner so if that is something that is of interest to you, um, certainly by the time that you um, become a student here at Virginia Tech or, um, you know, start pursuing your, your primary major um, in mining, I would imagine that the petroleum miner will be an option for you. Um, and, and if nothing else, then you would be able to um, also um, pursue classes that were that we are offering uh, within our department. So, um, so it's kind. Of, it's the answer is kind of. It's not a major, but it is a possibility to um, gain experience uh, within that part of the field. So, um, if so how is um, ocean mining different uh, than land mining? Um, Ali, do you have more insight on the different how these are different? I mean, obviously the the complexities are are vastly different from working, you know, with water over top of you versus you know dry land. Um, but do you have any insight? Yeah. Um, so I don't know a whole lot about petroleum. I personally have only taken one class that really deals with it, but the um, ocean mining that I know a lot about is dredging and there's actually a company that a bunch of students go to work for and you're on a um I wouldn't call it a ship but like kind of with like a big uh shovel dredging, right? on it yeah um like dredging yeah and you're on that um ship boat I don't <laughs> platform in the water and you're mining, but you're above the water. Um, I'm not great. I'm not, I don't think I'm qualified to answer this because I don't know a lot about it. And I'm sorry. We do have professors who are super involved with petroleum engineering. Isn't um, Baha Ray? Um, that's um, what, yeah. So we do have professors who, if you would like um, uh, more. I don't know, better answers to that question. Um, we could get you an, we could give you um, an email probably. I don't have it off the top of my head. Um, we could tell you where to find the email. Definitely. Um, if that's something you're really interested in. Um, I just personally, I don't know a lot about it. And I'm, I'm sorry. Um, but we have had a bunch of students go to work for um, the Great Lakes dredge and dock, um, which is um, they, it's like, their schedule is kind of cool because it's like you work for two weeks and then you get a week off and they can fly you anywhere. Um, and when you're working, you're on that platform in the water, um, helping them dredge whatever is under the water that they're looking for that I think, I think it's super interesting personally. Um, <laughs> yeah, sorry. I just don't know a lot about it. That's a really interesting question. Um, so, um, Baggett says, uh, I'm looking to looking at combining ocean engineering and mining. 
Is there any major that is kind of a combination of the two? Um, and I'm trying to think of what might be offered at Virginia Tech that might be a close combination. Um, I don't know if ocean engineering offers a minor where you'd be able to maybe pursue a major in, in mining and then have a minor in um, ocean engineering. But I like it, we were kind of saying earlier, um, if petroleum engineering is something that is particularly interesting to you, then, you know, the minor that we are uh, working on rolling out in petroleum engineering uh, could be an interesting combination there. And I'm pretty sure you can take classes um, if they're not major restricted in the other major, um, if you have time in your schedule. Like, I'm pretty sure there are certain mining classes that you can take um, not being a mining student, right? Yeah, well, and even if they are major restricted, if you have a very strong interest in a particular area, a lot of times we can uh, find exceptions. Uh, and again, that's kind of one of the benefits of being in a small major is that you would have a, a very strong advocate in me, the academic and career advisor uh, amongst the other uh, disciplines. Uh, and so, you know, in terms of that advocacy, I'd be able to help connect you with the right people um, and, and get you going in the right direction. So that's not necessarily the same. Um, not every department can offer that sort of specialized um, attention um, like, like our department can. Ashley, what's your favorite thing about our major? Uh, similar to you, I do really like our small class size. I just thrive better in that kind of environment. The great thing as well is sometimes you aren't even like looking for further involvement, but this is the kind of department that always like reaches out to you. And it's not necessarily like it's so big, you're constantly searching for opportunities. Like a lot of times, like you just get an email and it's like, hi, we're hiring undergrad research assistants. And like we want people like in this department um, coming from some of your teachers you probably had previously. So it's, it's really nice just having like a department with so many opportunities that it's not like you're the one constantly emailing teachers trying to figure out like if there's more ways to get involved, but instead it's like almost handed to you. Like everyone is super involved in our major and then uh, it being so small, it's really easy to get involved. Mm -hmm. Oh, another thing with the things being handed to you, I would say, well, Companies love us. They want us as interns. They want us as full-time um, engineers at their companies. So we have info, info sessions pretty regularly. Um, I think we've had, what, three already this year. Um, and they told us right off the bat that they're looking for interns. They're looking for full-time um, for the graduates um, in in May. Um which you don't get a lot with other majors. Um, being a smaller major and having these companies come and talk to us, it's really easy to ask a question and they'll actually acknowledge it. They'll see who you are. And if you apply, they'll recognize you and they'll be like, oh, this person, like they're going to be a good fit for our company. And a lot are a lot of students. Um, they do get internships um, every summer that they try to get one, which is super. I don't know. I think it's super cool. Yeah, thank you for coming. I hope you learned something about mining. <laughs> Thanks, you guys. Have a great rest of your day. I'm doing.